Uh, what is your name? My name is Myla. High five. High five. Yeah. You love chigari? I love chigari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You love chigari. This is the countryside of Rwanda. So these are the apartments I'm going to stay. Okay, so seeing this. So these are the apartments I'm sitting there, ready in Rwanda. So I'm going to see. I'm going to check in. Good morning people. So right now at the T of Tower at the rooftop of the all of the of the city of Chigali guys Chigali Rwanda. So I'm going to show you how beautiful the city is. So in my back here, just for here at my left hand, so I have the vision city. The vision city is for only the rich guys. The rich, even the president and the daughters are always staying here. The vision city, they are only beautiful houses. It's the only assets for the rich guys. It's called the Vision City. So, you guys, let me show you the golf course. If you go there playing the golf, there's a golf course just here. There's a beautiful hotel here. It's called the Plotofi. It's called Plotofi, guys. The Plotofi, yo. If you go there at swimming, they have a swimming pool. So, if you have the convention, the convention center is just yeah, there. Uh, this is Plot of Fee Hotel, one of the best hotels around where I stayed. So it's found in Karokar Nyachitarama, the place where I stayed near the Vision City. It's a good hotel with a nice swimming pool, so people who are good at swimming, you can check it out. And, and they have a welcoming staff with pretty views of the golf course. So it's one of the places I recommend in Chigari, Rwanda. Check it out if you happen to visit Rwanda. Driving Chigari wasn't that easy because for me I was used of driving keeping left by found in Chigari they were keeping right. So I was now heading to the busiest area of Chigali called Nyarujenje where the BK Arena, the Hotel Radisson Convention Center, the, the Memorial Genocide is found. This is the reason why it's called the Green City because all the trees are planted across all the streets you can see this. All the streets are planted, well planted with trees. So right now I'm at Genocide Memorial in Rwanda. So did you know that this is just a memorial site for people who were killed in 1994? Yeah, yeah, 1994 in Rwanda. So many people were killed and a lot were buried here. So whenever the locals come here, they always come for just memories of the lovely people who were who were killed by these gangsters in 1994. You guys, today I'm going to show you why this site was constructed. Thank you. I'm close. The Rwandan genocide occurred between 7th April and 15th July 1994 during the Rwandan Civil War. During this period of 100 days, members of Tusi minority ethnic group as well as some moderate Hutu and Twa were killed by armed Hutu military. It left a lot of people humiliated, displaced and a lot of property destroyed. It should not come again. All the Rwandese believe genocide will never come again. I could have showed you what is inside this hole, but cameras are not allowed in. But immediately when you reach this place, they show you a movie, genocide movie, which turns you emotional. And another thing they did in commemoration of their people, they kept their skulls, bones, clothing, Materials which were used to kill them, the strap, the hoist, the guns, all those were killed. 
there if you happen to visit this place you can witness all this by your eyes physically all these are graveyards where thousands of people were buried so whenever the locals feel lonely they just come here in memory of their late and beloved people So look at the place where I'm driving from. You can easily crash and you fall down there. So what do I need to do? What do I need to do? suburbs. Suburbs. And this confirms that this is really a land over a thousand hills. You can see all the place. It's lay. City center. Wechigali, akatundu wakaita kalu kanya chitalama Aweka mpala nchimanyi mchitegera bulunji yone mutasa kafero wewa Yeah, this is the city center, it's quite busy, people are all busy And the day is quite really nice Security is okay, you can see me I'm bobbing around the city The wali ya nkwa atako mchitegera So in 1994 and 1990, genocide took place in Rwanda, but all Rwandans believe that genocide will never come again. Uh, Chigali City Tour has really impressed me. I'm not saying this because I want to make the Chigali people happy, but they really deserve it. And another issue I've realized that the city is really super clean. Yeah, it's really super clean. In the city center, Yarujenje, they have this place called the Kafri Zone and this place is where the Chigali logo is found and a lot of people always who happen to visit Chigali they come here take snaps the place is really clean and it's so peaceful Uh, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm now on the streets of Chigali. You guys, it's the most cleanest city in South Africa. Not only in South Africa, but even in Africa. It's very clean. Every street is clean, they are well constructed, you can find a portfolio, they are so clean and so attractive. We can have a look. This is why Chigali is referred to as a green city because the streets are purely green with trees planted all over the streets making it so beautiful and so attractive in Africa. If you happen to visit Chigali Rwanda you should keep this spin because the streets are purely clean so you should not litter on the streets. The dustbins are all over everywhere and these people do this through communal cleaning every last week of the month. It is the art gallery, so those interested in art pieces, you can check it out. They have all art pieces of Rwanda and Africa at large. So it's so nice, though they don't allow cameras inside.
From there, I had to rush the biggest landmark here in Chigali called Radisson Hotel and Convention Center, one of the biggest hotels here in East Africa and Africa at large. So it's one of the biggest here in Chigali hosting all conferences. Apparently, I'm at the Convention Center of Chigali, Rwanda. So this is a hotel called Convention Center and the hotel. So it has got a very big auditorium for conferences. It has a convention center, that is a convention center, it has the hotel side, so it is a very big place and it's very so unique and quite appeasing. It's so unique, beautiful and big. Security is clear, everything it has a very big parking space as you can see. So it's a very big place. So if you happen to visit Rwanda, don't miss this place. I had to go to the restaurant side to have lunch with my friends. You can see the setup, the colors are also attractive. So the interesting story about this place is that the locals in low areas think the place rotates, but which is not right because it's the lights which keeps on moving, moving. So they should fix the place to change the mentality, but it's quite funny. <laughs> hey guys, guys, as I told you, this is the sixth day in Chigali. So I'm saying bye bye to Chigali. Bye bye to Chigali. So right now I'm on the streets of Chigali, downtown. So but it's so interesting. It has impressed me. The city is super clean, guys, and the all lights are working. So there's no doubt this is the cleanest city in Africa. There's no doubt. I no longer doubt. So impressive. So guys, you can have a look at the city. So super clean. The lights are so working. All clean. They have loose. You can see they are respecting the zebra crossing. You see. They are respecting the zebra closing. They are following the loose to place here. And the downtown Kampala of Chigari. This is the green city here. No doubt, it's a green city. Radisson, one of the biggest oh, uh, hotels in Chigali. Chigali Heights. Seeing people are taking pictures here. Bye bye, Chigari. Mm.